Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, Chavarim. Shalom, Rastafari. So, yes, yeah, so the day after here, the day after the pronounced death of QE II, Queen Elizabeth II, the reigning symbol, monarch, figurehead of the, because of the British monarchy for the past 70 years. Now, in the first vlog, we basically, you know, had um, said ding dong, you know, QE2 is dead. Long live the king. Long live the king of kings. It's the end of the queendom, this queendom for the past how many years? 70 years, right? And so what about the prophecy? We didn't get into the prophecy in any detail right there, there, there. although we did see to set up right you know the prophetic context of the point you know but here on the day after the pronounced death i keep emphasizing when they pronounce the death right you can say they pronounced that she was dead right they also announced that you know prince charles now interesting enough prince charles you know her son right her son prince charles her and philip you know philip passed a little while ago and many of us could see the handwriting on the wall now prince charles the third now note this do you know anything about british history in fact they had killed a king charles king charles actually he's king charles now no longer the prince right but he's king charles the third what about what happened to king Charles the first in, in England in Great Britannia. What happened to King Charles the second? Do you know the history? That's why we said this changes everything. Right? We was looking for more of a historical perspective, but the numbers, let's look at the numbers, let's do the math. It's 70 years. 70 years. 70 years is very, very significant, you know, vis-a-vis QE the second and this 70 years that she was the reigning monarch right on the throne of Great Britannia the tin lady see Great Britannia is known as the tin lady Great Britannia so keep in mind the 70 years so we're gonna call this right here QE2 right QE2 right the death of QE2 or QE2's death and black Jew prophecy I'm going to emphasize we, the black Jews of the Lion of the tribe of Judah, prophecy, All right? Interesting, this particular scene here where uh, QE2, you know, had visited the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. And there's a toast. I want to get that still there. There's a particular toast, you know. You know, they do like these toasts, you know, with the cup. Right, there's the cup and the toast. Here lap um Yvette Rivera, you know, for the works right here, here, here. This is this is the scene right here. This is a very interesting scene on her visitation. Right? And when I saw um a still of one of the photographs where there's a cup, right? There's a cup and there's a toasting, right? There's a cup and there's a toasting. I don't know if ones and ones have seen this, you know, previously. Right? But here we're speaking about Britannia, firstly and foremostly. When we look at the historical prophecy right, of Great Britannia. So here, let's get a still right here. And let's see which still we can utilize right here, here, here. So we're going to zoom in on this particular scene right here. Here she gives a speech, so forth and so on. Right? And there's, there's a toasting right, that goes on. A toasting with cups. Now we call it like a cup is a chalice. I want to share something right here from prophecy. So two points of prophecy concerning the pronounced death of QE2, Queen Elizabeth II after after 70 years. QE2, right? 70 years and the black Jew, right? Prophecy. First thing first, let's go here, 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 right? To the to the law and to the testimony now it's going to begin off right here first of all on the on the cup and the chalice so we can try to understand understand what was this relationship with the conquering line of the tribe of judah moa anbesas m negeta yehuda with gormawi kermawi halasalasi was imperial magic halasalasi the first negusa negese ethiopia the king of kings of ethiopia from that throne of king david we can say the moshiach right in his kingly Right, Advent, Melaka Kavod. Here we have Revelation chapter 17, verse 4. It says, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Those are significant colors for the Anglo American world order. You know, they said the red, white, and blue. Right, when you combine red and blue, 
right? Red state, blue state, you know, mother like daughter, mother Britannia, daughter America, right? The times of the Gentiles, right? That's the biblical context, the times of the nation states. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand. It says, full of the abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. Now, here we're pointing this to Great Britannia because, you know, the, the, the lady, you know, so to speak, you know, speaking of QE2, right, she was the reigning, right, monarch, right, the reigning monarch, the sovereign, right, upon that throne of Great Britannia. Now, Britannia has a longer history. All right. We got to recognize the true context. We saw there was a few ones that said they don't mourn. This is not a mourning. It's not about no mourning. It's about a new dawning. It's about a new dawning. It's about a new day. That's why we say this changes everything. The 70 year. Right? So this cup. Right? This cup. Now when we go and look up a couple of verses on cup. Right? Cup and hand. A few verses right here just to touch on cup and hand. Right? Ezekiel 23:31. Thou hast walked in the way of thy sister. Therefore, I will give her cup, speaking about mystery, Babylon, her cup into thine hand. You ever heard they say like baby London, right? Babylon, London, London, Babylon. You ever heard that expression? Go look it up. London and Babylon, baby London. Jeremiah, Hermias, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51 and 7 says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, right, in Jehovah's hand that made all the earth drunken, right, all the earth, the nations. Remember, we're in the times of the Gentiles. So white supremacy really equals, biblically speaking, the times of the nation states or the times of the Gentiles coming from that Greco-Roman period of time, historically speaking. So the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. They're mud. The nations are mud. Look at the news. Look at history. Over the 400 plus years. Look at the madness. All right? Let's go over here, here, here. Jeremiah 25, 28. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, then shalt thou say to them, Thus saith Yahuwah, Yahweh. Thus saith Jehovah, Yahweh, Sebaot. Thus saith Jehovah of armies, ye y'all shall certainly drink. I'm talking about that this 70 years, it changes, changes everything. Jeremiah 25 and 17 says, Then took I the cup at Yahuwah's hand and made all the nations to drink to whom Yahuwah Jehovah had sent me. Selassie I send I, yeah. So here, 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 let's look at this right here, right? For thus saith Yahuwah, Elohei Yisrael, the Elohim of Yisrael. We, the once lost, now found black and brown people, the Bait, Yisrael, even I and I, the Beit of Israel, the house of Israel over here in the Americas and the Caribbean, right? It says, take the wine cup of this fury at my hand and cause all nations to whom I send thee to drink. So as we go through the scriptures, we'll see how John had put into Babylon, right, into the hand of Babylon, right, a cup. So we're looking at both the, the big picture, right, but also looking at the details and as it pertains to QE, Queen Elizabeth and her 70 years, right, and her 70 years, right. What about these 70 years? What is the significance? of the 70 years if we look at psalm 75 and 8 it says for in the hand of jehovah there is a cup that cup that chalice here it says that the wine is red it is full of mixture and he poureth out of the same but the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink and drink them so here we see this prophetic word concerning the cup. Now, we didn't go into the details, some of the prophetic details, but revelation is, we could say, all roads lead to that revelation verse concerning Babylon, concerning baby London. If you understand the inner city of London and finances and economics, you see what the scripture says that the love of money, right, is the root of all evil. Not the use of money. 
right? We don't worship Elohim and mammon, right? We worship Elohim with our mammon. In other words, we use our mammon for the purpose of Elohim, for all things work towards the good of those who are called, right? Those who are loved, right? Who love Elohim and who are called, right? According to his purpose. But let's look at the 70 years. Let's look at the 70 years so one can understand the significance even here in the title, the 70 years. 70 years. What's the significance of this time? When they say 70 years, QE and 70 years. All right, so how many verses? 12 verses. Let's go through some of the earlier verses right here. All right, the 70 years. All right. Okay, Isaiah. All right, Isaiah. And it shall come to pass that Tyre... My Tyros, Tyre shall be forgotten 70 years according to the days of one king, of one sovereign. After the end of 70 years shall Tyre, Tyros, sing as a harlot, as a whore. Now, notice the connection with Isaiah 23 and 15, this context of the 70 years, and also that, that whore, that harlot, right, of Babylon, speaking prophetically, but now looking in the real world and seeing, seeing the 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 shadow we could say right of this prophetic word the prophetic word is the light but seeing that shadow and it shall come to pass after the end of 70 years how long did she reign for 70 years almost 70 years exact did they choose this date and time when to pronounce her death that yahweh hey yahweh will visit will visit tire tiros and she shall turn to her higher and shall commit fornication. Remember it's about the cup. Remember that cup? What is it full of? Right? With all the kingdoms, with all governments, how all governments have been influenced right, by Britannia. Remember Britannia ruled three-fourths of the world? Right? All the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. Right? Jeremiah 25, 11, for the 70 years. Zooming on this. And this whole land shall be desolate and an astonishment and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Now, one will say it says the king of Babylon, Melech, right? Like the king of the bottomless pit. We done told you that QE the second is a figurehead. And she has a role and responsibility and, you know, John know what she done did. You know what I mean? Whether it was right or whether it was it was ratchet. But here we're speaking about the 70 years. Jeremiah 25 and 12 and it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished when they are accomplished male mala mala in the Hebrew means to be full male when they come to a fullness so we come to a fullness right of time right here right when they are full to fulfill right right are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon now we had a queen, right? They had a queen, not we, but the world had this queen, right? Talking about QE the second, right? For 70 years. They pronounced her dead and then they said, long live the king. And they pronounced King Charles, right? The third. That's why I pointed out what happened to the other two. They beheaded the King Charles. We've been hearing all sort of things, you know, from ones and ones, but we see some prophetic inclination into what I hear, right? This is her son, right? Her son is coming to the throne. Baby London, Babylon. But we had a what? A queen, right? Or no, the world had a queen upon this throne. For how long? For 70 years. So it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished or fulfilled, filled up, that I will punish the king of Babylon. And they say what? Long live the king, but King Charles III, the third, right? Three, Trinity, think about it. The king of baby London, Babylon, and that nation, what? That nation. So we're not speaking of the king of Babylon, but also of a nation, right? So when we speak about the Anglo-American world order, and we speak about Great Britannia. Britannia is the tin lady. She's called the tin lady. Britannia, she, that great, and her children, her, like the daughter of Babylon, speaking about USA, USA. This is why there's so much similarity when we go to the root between Great Britannia Right? The mother and the daughter. And that nation. Remember they said the 400 years where the beta Israel will be? Right? And he says, and that nation whom they shall serve. 
All right? We just talked about the 400 years. See how the 400 years fulfilled? Now we have the 70 years being fulfilled here in 2022. All right? Sayeth Yahweh HaKadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hashem. The Holy One, blessed be He. Blessed be the name. And what does it say? For their iniquity. Iniquity. Avon. Avon. In the Hebrew, Avon. Awain. Avon. What is Avon? Perversity. Depravity. Iniquity. The guilt. The punishment of iniquity. Right? Iniquity. The guilt of iniquity. Right? The condition. The consequence. And the consequence. And the punishment for iniquity. The thing that ones are going to ask is that in some strange way, while QE2 was there, was there some divine forbearance? A forbearance of judgment until these things would be fulfilled. So we have the Avon. Avon in the Hebrew, Awain, Awon, Aven, Avon, right? Avon, perversity, right? That is moral corruption, moral evil, fault, iniquity, mischief, punishment, right? Getting to the word Awa, Ava, right? To twist like a serpent, to bend, to twist, to distort. Getting to the root of that particular word right there, 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 right? For iniquity in the land of the Chaldeans, the Chaldeans, the Kasdim. The Kasdim, the clod breakers, the Kasdim, right? Get into that as well as we build on this. But see, the connection of the Chaldeans is also with the astrologers, right? And the spiritual, the grimoire, the grimoire, right? That grimoire that the British monarchy, you know, they have their own astrologers, sorcerers, soothsayers, you know, you know, on the dark side of the web, if you over is what I'm saying, pointing to, to the Chaldeans. That's what I said. Did they announce? As this time is probably a good time to announce this. So you see the astrological, right, significance. Like when the Queen's birth, she was supposed to be a Taurus. was sometime in, in April, but they would have, I think, June, July, when they had the official birthday for her. Because that was a more time when the people could get out and wave flags and do that thing. You know, it was more in summertime. So even as they change when her birthday was one day, but they will have a public cer ceremony, could it be that she had passed away or died or whatever, you know, on one day, but they decided to pronounce on the day they did, right, September, what was it, 8th, right, for the iniquity of the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolations. See, that, that then doves with the prophetic picture. Right, and this whole land shall be a desolation and astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon how many seventy years? Right, the king of Babylon. Right now, the king, we're talking like the king of the bottomless pit. Right, we're speaking about Hasatan Mastema. Right, we're speaking about spiritually speaking. We're speaking about that force, that 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 con that, that adversarial mind, Hasatan, not spooking it out, but it's an adversarial mind. Right, that inclination, right, that inclination to evil, to rah rah, right, that inclination to domination, that inclination to, to exploitation. That's the king, that's the ruling consciousness. They will serve it for how long? And it shall come to pass after the end of 70 years that Yahweh, hey, Yahweh will visit Tyre. See what it says? And she shall turn to her higher and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. Now, it was after 70 years, right, that the black Jews had returned out of the Babylonian captivity, right? It was after 70 years. Go do the research, brothers and sisters. Here, this is just to basically point to the significance here, right? Because we touched on that first video, right, and didn't go into any of the deeper prof prophecy, the prophetical aspects, you know, of what is being spoken right here at the end of 70 years, right? So that's what we're going to look for that picture with a cup. It was like a toast that was going on. But there's also the other script where it's talking about how into Babylon's hand there's this cup, this chalice. We have that in the Revelation quote that John will put into Babylon's hand, right? And will cause her to drink of this, right? So it's interesting when we see these toasting going on in, in one way. You might see it like that, but there's a bigger picture. This also proves, you know, the biblical, the scriptural verse that if Jah, Yahweh, the Lord, according to translation, will put in the hand of Babylon, right, personified as a woman, right, a cup, right, and will cause her to drink, that means there they must be a proximity, you know, and we can see the proximity. 
right? And then we also can see that she reigned for a full time of 70 years. And we know that the black Jews, right, we of the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, after the order of Melchizedek, historically, the black Jews returned out of Babylon after a period of time of 70 years, right, to restore, you know, the temple of Jerusalem, to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, to build the temple during the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. So just pointing to this right here, going to build on this, but just the 70 years, the prophecy connection of the 70 years, right? And the black Jew prophecy of the scripture, because it was a tribe of Judah, Yehuda, right? That returned out of Babylon, right? That returned out. The Israelites, the 10 tribes already had gone to captivity a couple of hundred years earlier. But we get the black Jews, right? The Yehudim, the Judahites, the Yedim in Persia. In Babylon, right, for a period of 70 years. That's the key right there. This is why, this is why historical articles like this is important. Linking with the Negro, the Negro, right, Yehuda, Judah, right, here in the Americas and the Caribbean, that link with I and I throughout the world, right? One can get into more of this right here, here, here. Weep not, behold, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book. Right? And to loose the seven seals thereof, as well as that special message for Negroes. Right? We have this throughout the scripts, the Bible with the children of Yisrael, that there is sometime there is a, a time when time must be fulfilled. And even for a generation, right? We have that where John brought the Israelites out of Mitzrayim, out of Egypt, out of Kemet, right? But those who he brought out. Right? He wasn't well pleased to bring in, so we, we get kind of that wandering for 40 years. And then we have that generation that goes into the land, that actually goes into the land, and that is according to the divine, to the Most High's plan. So right here, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, just sharing a kind of a special message for the once lost, now found, black and brown sheep of the Bait Israel, concerning the what's called the passing or the death, the pronounced death of QE, Queen Elizabeth the second, right? After 70 years, the 70 years prophecy, seen, sight. And just as just as the biblical prophecy said that the King of Kings right, faces the storm, stands alone, endeavoring to protect that ancient nation. Right? This man was born there. Psalm 87 verse 4. Right? against the encroaching world flesh satanic cyclone weep not behold the conquering line of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof